Hello, Ophiuchus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your general energy reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a timeless reading. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. I am available for private readings. If you'd like to get a private reading with me, just check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer, including my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. If you'd like to get some extra content with me throughout the month, check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. And uh, as always, yeah, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yes? All right. Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's get into this, guys. I'm going to give this one last shuffle. And we are going to see what messages we have for you at this time period. Okay, so we're starting you off with the Four of Wands here at the bottom of the deck. That's nice. Um, I'm feeling like you're... Oh, come on. Are you going to... There we go. I'm feeling like you're very connected with yourself. You're very solid. You're very stable. You're very grounded. If there's some sort of... Um, okay, well, I just heard a financial endeavor. Um, I went, but initially I was, I was trying to say a creative endeavor, but, um, what I heard was a financial endeavor, but there's some sort of creative project that you have going on here, um, or some sort of situation that you're getting off the ground that is leading you in a certain fin direction financially or whatnot, whatever, or you have certain financial goals. What I'm getting from this right now, Ophiuchus, is that, um, you're very well off or you have a very good foundation, you have a very solid starting point under your belt. Um, if you are in a planning phase, Ophiuchus, I feel like this is, you're at a good point, you're at a good place where you can start to implement this plan, put this plan into action. For some of you, I actually want to urge you to start putting your plans into action. Some of you are hesitant to do so. Um, and this is mainly why the Four of Wands has come out here, or as I was guided to, to start with this Four of Wands. Um, you're procrastinating, some of you, or you're holding yourselves back, um, thinking that you need more information or that you need more, um, you, you need, you need a, 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 a a more complete plan is really what I want to say. That's really how I want to say it. You feel like you need a more complete plan, but actually you need to just get started with what it is you have going on so far because what you have going on so far, Ophiuchus, is actually a really good start and it's a really good way to get you started. You, you know, it's a good starting point. You can figure out more of it as you move forward. Actually, I'm picking up on the fact that for some of you, you need to get started because there are certain things that you won't necessarily be able to figure out in your current position. You will have to have some sort of experience under your belt or you will need to have something started to begin with before you can even figure out what's next or what it is you're trying to figure out now, okay? You don't have to have all of the complete 100% pieces put in place. I understand the value in that. But some cases, or sometimes that's just not practical. And sometimes you need to just get started get and get the ball rolling before you will be able to really um, see other aspects of the situation that you're required to see or that you're trying to see, okay? It's like you're trying to, you're trying to find a blind spot without even really understanding where or what that blind spot could be, okay? So that's kind of defeats the purpose here, all right? So let's get into this. What do we have going on for Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Zoda at this time? Please, Spirit, what messages do we have for Ophiuchus at this time? First card out is the High Priestess. And again, I want to say, just get started. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, but then also you have this Nine of Swords here. Okay, and overall energy is the Queen of Wands. Okay, that's good. That's beautiful. That's good. All right. All right. So what I'm, this is, okay. <laughs> what I'm picking up on here for you, Ophiuchus, is this is the whole reason as to why you're trying to start something new. You have this new creative, creative endeavor 
that you're trying to get off the ground, um, you have this new creative project that could lead you in a certain financial direction. Uh, and it, I'm getting most of that from, the, I'm getting it mostly from the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? There's some sort of business endeavor, um, but what I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles for you, oh, for you, because whether you're a man or a woman, it really does not matter, okay? What the Queen of Pentacles is representing for you in this moment is a desire to have a better home life. I am hearing family life. Um, there's, a, there's a desire to have a better life for yourself, maybe even for your family and or your children or those who you serve or those who you are closest, co closely connected to. I'm getting an energy of the Queen of Pentacles of wanting to have a better living situation, wanting to make more money, um, doing something that is more in alignment with you, having a life or a physical representation of your life that is more desirable, um, honors you more, is more reciprocal. There's something about wanting to have better for yourself. And it's starting with yourself. So, and, and I am hearing, and maybe for others, okay? But it really is starting for yourself. This, this desire is coming from within you. And the high priestess is here and she's leading you on the way. But again, the high priestess is speaking to what I was picking up on with that four of wands. You're not going to know all of the answers or you're not going to have all of the clues exactly when you want them. At some point, you're just going to need to get started. But then we have this nine of swords here, which seems to be blocking you. There's some sort of fear or apprehension. I am picking up specifically that for some of you, or maybe the overall energy here, is that this Nine of Swords represents a lack of belief in yourself. Fear as to whether or not you, could re you can really achieve this or not, or you can really attain this goal or not. But then the overall energy here for you is the Queen of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is telling me that you're in direct alignment with this. Again, the Queen of Wands is mirroring what that Four of Wands was representing for you, Ophiuchus. The Queen of Wands is representing your alignment, the activation of your fire, the activation of your creative ability, okay? So this Nine of Swords feels as if you feel inadequate. There is a, there is a feeling here, Ophiuchus, of you thinking of, of what if am i going to be able to get this done am i and and that is actually where it's like there's a panic that is setting in and that's kind of where you're feeling like it or it's feeling like you are requiring yourself to have more of a plan in place than you might already have and i'm not saying that you don't have a plan at all um, even just an idea, a very strong idea, a very strong gut feeling of a direction that you might want to go in or that you're being lead, led in is enough for you to start moving in that direction. And, but but the, there's an overemphasis here on a level of practicality that is probably just not reasonable or feasible at this time. I understand where it's coming from. It's coming from this Queen of Pentacles energy. It's coming from this energy of feeling, maybe maybe you experienced, you've been experiencing a bit of a mess in your life, or you've always felt like a mess, or you've been called a mess. People see you as a mess. I mean, people have looked down upon you because of certain things, or you've been rejected or excluded from certain situations because you couldn't, quote, keep it together or some shit like that. Like. That's entirely possible. If that doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about it. But this Queen of Pentacles energy here is giving a level of, I want better for myself. I want better for my life. I want greater structure. I want something in my life that honors me, that 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 um, um, mirrors a level of self-respect that you want to hold for yourself. Um, and there's a there's a strong level in some cases I'm even hearing an extreme level of practicality that is coming through with this Queen of Pentacles energy, but there's too much emphasis on that. What I want to say for you to at this point is just get started with how you're feeling inspired to move forward. Queen of Wands, whatever it is with that's within your alignment right now, whatever whatever it is that you are inspired to move forward with or move forward towards, that is what you need to be focusing on. Allow the situation, allow the practicality of the situation to unfold as time goes on. 
okay? But really what's most important right now, Ophiuchus, is just getting started. Okay, I wanna, I wanna clarify this Nine of Swords energy. Clarify the Nine of Swords for Ophiuchus, please, Spirit. The Hermit, okay. There is a lack of mentality energy going on here. Um, you know, this might sound completely, <laughs> completely ass backwards, Ophiuchus, but actually this, this nine of swords seems and feels like it's kind of a good thing, or at least it's the sign of a good thing because you have the hermit here. And I'm going to get some more cards to clarify this energy of the Nine of Swords. But right now, what this is saying is that you have gone through a time period or you have gotten through a level of introspection, a level of cultivating or a time period of cultivating a greater sense of self-awareness. And that's where this Nine of Swords energy is stemming from. That's where your lack of self-belief where this energy of, am I going to be able to do this? Don't I need more of a plan? I don't want to screw up the way that I did in the past, blah, blah, blah. That's where all of this is coming from. Because you are you have a greater level of self-awareness of who you have been in the past. And that is juxtapositioned against who it is you're trying to become. Who it is you're trying to manifest yourself to be what it is you're trying to manifest yourself to be and you don't want to screw it up like you did in the past or like you may have felt like or perceived you have done in the past so technically speaking oh for you because this is a little bit of a good thing because it shows a level of self-awareness that you may have been lacking in the past that you have now gained Okay, but the trick here is to not allow this fear to stop you, to hinder you from moving forward. Allow this level of self-awareness to be a bit of a barrier or a bit of a guideline or a bit of a boundary for you to stay within. Don't allow it to consume you, to overwhelm you, okay? More on this Nine of Swords, please. Two more cards on this Nine of Swords for Ophiuchus, please, Spirit. There's one and two. Oh, oh, shit. Look at this. You have the Ace of Wands and you have the Tower. Ophiuchus, this is a really good thing. Overall energy, though, is the Two of Swords here. Okay. Uh, the Two of Swords is, um, is coming through as a benefic energy, whereas the Two of Swords is normally a, malef uh, a malignant energy. The Two of Swords typically represents denial. Okay, well, oftentimes it can represent denial. In this case, the Two of Swords is representing not being focused on the external reality and instead staying focused on what it on the alignment you have within yourself, what it is you're trying to achieve, the goal you are trying to reach. Stay focused on that, okay? Your fear, this Nine of Swords energy, again, this is really good, Ophiuchus. It's now even better than I thought it was when, the, when just the Hermit came out. Why? Because this is further clarified by the Ace of Wands to the Tower. You are feeling inspired through this level of self-reflection and introspection that you have gone through, that you have been able to achieve, Ophiuchus. You are now inspired to do away with the old constructs, Ace of Wands and the Tower. Either you are consciously looking to bring this tower energy down, bring this status quo, this old stuff down, or it's your inspiration to move in a new direction that is catalyzing a massive change for you. Okay? But there is fear involved here, yes, because the old structures need to come down. And that can be catastrophic, that can be extreme, that can be really quite crazy. But that's why this overall energy of the Two of Swords is here. Because the Two of Swords is counseling you to not focus on the external reality. Because things are not going to look right, or things are not going to look the way you want them to at first. Maybe even for a while. But you have to keep that alignment within yourself in check on point, intact, in order for you to really be able to reach your goal 
eventually over a certain period of time like it's going to take time it's well yes technically in our world we do we think of time but time is a mental construct time doesn't really isn't really doesn't really exist um it's going to take effort you're going to have to build this new but in order for you to build this new you have to deconstruct what is in the way what is an obs obscurance what is a hindrance first before you can build the new. And for lack of a better term, you guys, yes, that's going to take time. And it's not going to look the way you want it to look necessarily right away. Okay. So then with that said, let's talk about the high priestess. Let's clarify the high priestess. What does the high priestess have for Ophiuchus? Let's clarify the high priestess for Ophiuchus, please, too. Okay, first card is the Three of Swords. Okay. Clarify the High Priestess, please. Mmm, the Five of Pentacles. It is the reverse. And the Six of Cups. Overall energy is the Ten of Cups. This is where you're trying to go. This is the goal you're trying to achieve here. This is what the High Priestess is helping, leading you, helping to lead you towards. But what I'm getting with this clarification of the High Priestess here with the Three of Swords, the Five of Pentacles reversed, and the Six of Cups, this is your resistance towards what the High Priestess is trying to say to you or how the High Priestess, excuse me, how the High Priestess is trying to instruct you. What is getting in the way of you really hunkering down and following the guidance of your intuition and or following the guidance of the universe is the past pain that you are stuck in. You have the Three of Swords with the Five of Pentacles reversed. And it's interesting because as I was talking about the Nine of Swords, um, I was really feeling what resonated as Five of Pentacles energy. Five of Pentacles energy is, feel, is lack mentality, is not feeling good enough, is not feeling worthy, is feeling left out in the cold, is feeling like you don't have the resources or the skills or the tools or the education or the ability to achieve what it is that you want. But you see, the Five of Pentacles is reversed here, Ophiuchus. That's not such a good thing in this situation. Because what that's saying to me is that you are stuck, stagnant, and rooted in some sort of lack mentality. And all of that has to do with pain that you have garnered or pain that you have been dealing with from past circumstances. And it's these past circumstances, it's this past reality, it's this past mindset that we're really trying to work you out of, that you're trying to get away from. But unfortunately, at this point right now, it's that same mindset that is hindering your process because it's causing you to doubt what it is you are he hearing or what it is you are intuitively gaining or receiving from your higher self, from the universe, from your heart, whatnot, whatever. That is what's standing in the way of this high priestess. That is what's causing this lack of belief in the guidance that you're getting. Because what I'm getting here, Ophiuchus, is that you are receiving proper and adequate guidance. The thing about it is, it's just not going to look, or things are just not going to look the way you would expect them to yet. You have to give it more time. You have to allow things to come together more. You have to allow things to take shape. You have to follow through with all of the steps in order to reach your full goal. Right now, your biggest challenge, okay, your biggest challenge right now is holding back your ego, I just heard, in terms of the conditioning that you have experienced or that you are up against right now because it's that same conditioning that you are working on expelling in order for you to create this better new reality for yourself that is represented by the Queen of Pentacles. So, with all of that said, you're in the very beginning stages of this development, of this new project, of this new process, of this new life that you're developing for yourself. Yes, you are. You're in the beginning stages of it. And in that beginning stages of it, you are facing, you are coming face to face with the belief structures that you have built up over this time that you are actively working on releasing. So what I feel like right now is where you are, Ophiuchus, is you are in the phase of, the beginning phase of demolishing or deconstructing that which has been constructed in the past. 
But you are deconstructing this in order to clear the space or to clear the lot, we'll call it, for the new structure you wish to build. But that means you have to come face to face with what it is you have built in the past or what it is that has been influenced to be built within your psyche as a direct result of the experiences you've had in the past. You have to come up against that first. You have to deconstruct that and then you will be able to build the new. And yes, this is a long and arduous process. I did just hear that. It doesn't have to be arduous. You don't have to look at it as arduous. You don't have to look at it as, um, you don't have to look at it that way. But it's going to take, I mean, it's going to take some effort, if not time. If you don't want to talk about time, if you're one of those that are like me, that's really trying to do away with time because it's an illusion, think of time as distance to travel, okay? You have to get to a certain place. And that place may be really far away. And within the, the construct of the human mind, it's going to take you time to travel that distance. Or taking time out of the situation, it's going to take you effort to get to that destination. That is X amount of distance away. Yes? Finally, what I want to clarify here for you is the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Ophiuchus. First card you have is Justice. See, this is, that's beautiful. That is excellent. Whatever it is that the Queen of Pentacles represents for you, whatever new life, new physical structure, new physical foundation, new job, new financial reality, new level of respect that translates into whatever new life that you are building for yourself, it is justified. You are doing the right thing. You are bringing justice into your life. You are balancing the scales. You are even balancing the scales of karma here in terms of wanting to recreate yourself in this way. Beautiful, Ophiuchus. Anything else for the Queen of Pentacles? Two more cards, please. We have the... There's the, there's the Four of Wands again. Ophiuchus, you can't make this up. One last card, please. And the Seven of Wands. Beautiful. Overall energy is the Knight of Wands. Ophiuchus, I love this for you. 22-22 on the counter. I love this for you. I mean, this says it all right here. This Queen of Pentacles is absolutely, absolutely a justified situation. Whatever this inspiration is for you, Four of Wands, it's solid. It's great. It's excellent. Move forward with it. Okay, stand your ground here. Defend this, Ophiuchus. Do anything and everything you can to preserve this foundation or preserve this, this inspiration to move forward in this, in this new way to create this new life for yourself. Do not let anything get in between you and this new life you are desiring to create for yourself, period. Just don't let it happen because this is exactly the right direction for you to be moving in. And that's not opinion coming from me. That is literally the cards confirming that. Because remember, we started with the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck after the shuffle. I don't even know what else to say about that. Confirmation right there. So let's go ahead and get your closing oracle guidance. Okay. Closing oracle guidance, Ophiuchus, is going to come from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Yeah? Excellent. Five shuffles here. Okay, here we go. Five shuffles. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Ophiuchans, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. One. Two. Three. Closing Oracle Guidance for Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Four. And five. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. Okay, here we go. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Ophiuchus, please, Spirit.
Mm, there it is. Card number 45, Goddess Gaia, ooh, and Ocean Jasper, Good Will. Beautiful. Okay. Something, the, the sun over here on the top right of this top, excuse me, top left of this card um, is really drawing my attention. It's so unique. There are no other cards that have this little symbol here up here. So I'm, I'm really drawn to that. I'm not sure what that means for you. I think it looks like a sun, but that's a good thing. The sun is coming up on the horizon I just heard. Okay. We bring you the empowerment of goodwill. There is a type of spiritual power you can co-create, which benefits and protects you whilst mutually empowering others to take their journey and experience divine success. The spiritual power known as goodwill is generated by how you feel inside and the attitude you cultivate towards others. When you know you have value, it is easy to recognize the value in another. When you feel encouraged by the universe, it is easy to encourage others. As you put out support, encouragement, and goodwill for the success of all beings, this energy is amplified and returned to you. Okay. And um, knowing your worth and all that is really that Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay. So really the guidance here is to allow yourself to feel empowered. Okay. And, to, and, 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 and in order to help yourself experience more of that empowerment, put that or yeah, project that empowerment out to others as well. Some of you may actively be getting caught up in resentment. Uh, you may be looking at others and their success and being like, why can't I have that? Why don't I have that? Those types of energies are holding you back. And what you need to do is instead change your, change the narrative there, change your, um, your, yeah, your narrative. And instead of, instead of being resentful or jealous or envious, congratulate them, hold respect for them. Hold, you know what I mean? And that will help you to uh, generate that sense of empowerment for yourself. Okay. So if you're really looking for more goodwill for yourself, try putting out goodwill to others because then that will help come back to you. Yes. All right, Ophiuchus, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, if Again, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer um, and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, check us out, out over on Patreon if you would like some extra content with me throughout the month and if you would like to support the channel. A big thank you goes out to my current Patre Patreon members. Without you guys, I would not be able to be here. So thank you so very much. Depending on which tier you subscribe to, you could get either a 10%, a 20% discount on your personal readings, or you could sign up for a specific tier that does give you one personal reading with me each month of your subscription. Check us out, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Join the unicorn herd over there. And, oh, also, please make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those links can be found in the description box below. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, Ophiuchus, I am sending you so much love. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.